exclusive contract with Felu Novel Network Novel. Voyage Rox's younger brother, top-tier boss at the beginning Mole, who had traveled to the world of pirates, became the brother of Rox, whose original name is unknown, Rox D. Molek. Surviving within the never-dot-ending battle of the Rox pirates in this land full of tigers and wolves is destined to become stronger than others. Fortunately, Morek activated the Super Berry Flash kill system and started the game with a top-tier dominance color wrap. Coincidentally, when the Navy heard the news and rushed to the vicinity of Beehive Island to plan an encirclement, the Black and Red Arc had already cut through the sky. The cracking domineering aura shook the entire sea. No one can stop the wave that will sweep the world next. A faint and oppressive voice echoed through the sky, Are you so afraid of the upcoming new era? Whether it's the navy or pirates, everyone is crawling around, and from this moment on, the whole world is causing a sensation. That shocking legend belonging to Lox, once again opening a brand new page. Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. 001 Locks Brother Locks D. Malek You are listening at NovelFull.audio The second half of the Great Voyage, The New World An island with a huge skull stands on this sea. This is the famous, Pirate's Paradise, Hive Island, Hachinos. It is the birthplace of pirate games and a place where pirates particularly enjoy gathering. Especially in recent times, Hachinos has been particularly lively. All the famous pirates from the entire New World gathered here, reportedly in response to someone's call, for a chance to make big money. And it is the legendary pirate who has recently dominated the sea and gained unparalleled popularity, Overlord, Lox, who has issued the call. At this moment, the sky was dim, and stars began to flicker on the night sky, reflecting the pure white moonlight. Even late at night, the entire island is still filled with endless noise and noise. Especially in the bars where pirates like to gather in clusters. In the largest and best bar on the island of Hachinos, many pirates gather here to taste the excellent wine brewed by the owner. You told me there's no seat left. At the bar, a burly man with scars and a fierce expression on his face slammed his angry hand onto the table in front of him. I've been working hard outside for so long, what's wrong? I don't even want to have a drink. There's enough wine pipes, but there's no space left. The bald boss, who was holding the wine and had a beard all over his mouth, casually glanced at him and said in a calm tone. If you want to drink, you can only stand. Standing. The strong man with a scar on his face became even more angry when he heard this. Do you know who I am? But I am. I don't care who you are. The bearded bald boss rudely interrupted the other person's words and said coldly. Here, if you want to sit down, find a seat yourself. As he spoke, he sneered, don't tell me, you don't know the market here. Market. On this pirate-infested island, if you want something, you have to rely on your own strength to fight for it. The strong man with a scarred face naturally knows this, and the owner who can open a bar on this island is not a good person to criticize. Under the teasing gaze of many onlookers watching the commotion, he could only look at the situation inside the tavern with a gloomy expression on his face. Hmm. Suddenly, his eyes twitched, and a strange place caught his eye. In the corner of the bar, a young man with a fair and handsome appearance occupied a seat alone, as if drinking a heavy drink. It's you. The big man with a scar on his face grinned and prepared to pinch the soft persimmon well. Are you going to trouble him? Suddenly, a drunken sneer came from the side, I advise you to be frugal. Hmm. The strong man with a scar on his face couldn't help but raise his eyebrows and looked over, what, is he a very powerful pirate? He asked in a low and composed tone, while constantly searching for a bounty that matched the appearance of that young man in his mind. On this island, it is very likely that any seemingly ordinary person is a ruthless and vicious person on the sea. Some basic precautions are necessary to maintain one's safety. 
but when the scarred and flesh-faced man filtered out almost all the famous pirates, he couldn't match them, and his heart was filled with doubts. He's not very impressive, the drunken guy had just finished saying these words when he saw the face of the burly man with a scar on his face darken once again. Are you playing with me? The latter, with an unpleasant expression, stared at him and said. If you want to die yourself, I won't stop you either. The drunken guy couldn't help but smile at the corner of his mouth. Although he's not a very powerful guy, dot. At this point, a clear light appeared in the drunken man's eyes, and he looked at the scar with a taunt smile on his face. He's surnamed Rox. Lox the muscular man with a scar on his face suddenly shrank his pupils, but the footsteps he was preparing to lift up again seemed to be filled with cement and could no longer move forward. His eyes flickered as he looked at the young man in the corner, then gritted his teeth. Amidst the playful gazes of many onlookers and the drunken guy around, he turned around and walked towards another corner. Any pirate wandering on this island knows clearly what the three words, locks, mean. That represents an existence that must never be provoked. But as this existence, Molly's mood is a bit depressed at this moment. Or, to put it another way, he should be called Malek now, Rox D. Malek. I didn't expect to travel to the world of One Piece and even become Rox's brother. On the corner seat, Morik couldn't help but let out a soft sigh. He originally grew up in an orphanage and later became a up owner. He was staying up late editing videos of the Pirate King Lox's era when he suddenly felt a wave of drowsiness and fell asleep. I didn't expect to open my eyes again and truly come to this world of Pirate Kings, many years before the Age of Discovery had even begun. And also became Rox's younger brother, right? The flickering candlelight reflected the extremely handsome and cold face of Morak. Forget it, anyway, I used to be alone before. Where to live is not living. Since I have come to this world, I need to live even more exciting and unrestrained, Molek picked up the glass in front of him and then drank all the wine inside. Ding, detected that the host has officially opened a brand new life in a new world, and the Super Berry Flash sale system is being bound. Is it a system? Upon hearing the machine prompt sound in his mind, Morik gently rotated his glass and a smile curved around his mouth. It's really a standard accessory for travelers. Ding. Super Berry Flash Sale System, as the name suggests, can provide various items and skills, and offer extremely low prices for flash sale. Ding. After midnight every day, the flash sale shelf will give the host a chance to refresh items and skills. If you have any favorite items, please flash them in a timely manner. Ding. Due to the host's first activation of the system, a special reward for beginners is given as a gift package. Supernatural Refresh Opportunity Top-level items or skills will definitely be refreshed. Do you want to enable daily refresh? 002 Flash Sale System Top of the Line King Color You are listening at NovelFull.audio These words began to gradually emerge in Morik's eyes. Is it a flash sale system? It's quite interesting. Moreover, it also demonstrates that the abilities obtained through flash sales are divided into beginner, superior, and top dot level levels. It can be said that the functions of this system are concise and straightforward, making it clear at a glance. Morik calmly gave instructions to the system. Refresh. In an instant, in front of Morak, a dazzling special effect flickered, and a series of shining items and skills continued to roll and refresh. In the end, when the refresh animation stopped, five colorful balls emitting strange lights stopped on the refresh bar. Ding! Congratulations to the host, successfully refreshed. The flash sale shelf has been updated, please check it in a timely manner. Ding! Host, please note that after midnight, you will receive a new refresh opportunity. If you refresh, it will overwrite the goods that were originally refreshed. Please kill the goods that have already been refreshed on the flash sale shelf in a timely manner before the new round of refresh. 
After a brief glance at the series of prompt messages, Morik remembered some key information and stopped looking further. But instead, his gaze shifted to the five newly refreshed light clusters. This is what he really needs right now. Molek directly opened the most dazzling and dazzling cluster of light. Overlord Color, Top, Introduction A top-notch domineering color with both mental, technical, and physical abilities, a true tyrant can unleash his domineering aura in all directions by simply boosting his momentum. His pressure is enough to shake the ship, and when he passes by, he can even knock down a fierce general who has been through countless battles. Second Sail Nine Cents and Nine Bellies Top Tier King Color Upon seeing such an introduction, Morik's eyes suddenly froze. He knew very well that in this world of the Pirate King, the final evaluation of a strong person's true strength still depends on their level of dominance. Overlord Color Domineering, one of the three colors domineering, is also the rarest among domineering. It is a royal qualification that cannot be acquired through cultivation. As a member of the Rock's family, Morik himself naturally possesses such qualifications. Is it a top-notch king color qualification? It's really good. Molek's lips gently curved into a smile. He didn't receive it immediately, but took a glance at another bright cluster of light next to it, which was also brightly colored. Overlord Color, Entanglement, Introduction Advanced use of the tyrant color, which can wrap the tyrant color's domineering energy around weapons or attacks. After wrapping, it will enhance the attack power and can substantially attack enemies without touching the opponent within a certain distance. Only a very small number of top-level strong players can achieve this. First it's domineering, and then it's domineering. This system is so satisfactory, knowing how to match and combine, and deliver the best power to oneself. After seeing the contents of these two light clusters, Morik no longer hesitated and directly took out a $100 Barry banknote he carried with him to buy newspapers, and immediately recharged it. Then, without hesitation, I clicked on the flash sale. Ding! Congratulations to the host for successfully killing Overlord Color, Top, in seconds. Please check it out. Ding! Congratulations to the host for successfully killing Overlord Color Entanglement in seconds. Please check it out. Two consecutive warning sounds sounded, and the next second, Morik felt a constant surge of momentum and some unknown force from deep within his body. He immediately and slowly closed his eyes, savoring and comprehending. At the same time, the astonishing pressure began to spread slowly from Morik's body towards the surroundings. Hmm. Suddenly, the maniacs and pirates who were drinking in the entire tavern trembled subconsciously. What's wrong with this? A middle-aged strong man full of evil energy, with a few dense beads floating on his forehead. The hostility in his eyes was no longer strong, but rather filled with fear, as he looked at his hands and clothes. The wine glass in my hand kept shaking, and the clear yellow liquid inside spilled out, splashing all over me and the bald man next to me who was easily offended. But the bald man next to him had no anger at all, and he didn't even bother to talk. On the contrary, his lips trembled and his breathing gradually became rapid. How could I suddenly feel so much pressure? He slowly opened his mouth and spat out some strange and hoarse notes from his dry throat. Is this an enemy attack? Not only them, but also the entire tavern felt this strong pressure. Gradually, the noise here also quieted down. Everyone sensed something was wrong and then began to investigate the source of all these changes. Until everyone's gaze in the entire tavern was focused on that corner. Sitting there, feeling the pressure emanating from the whole body with closed eyes, has almost become the essence of young people. Gulu. A swallowing sound was particularly pronounced in this silent tavern. Fortunately, the middle-aged man with scars all over his face, who was originally going to trouble Morak, swallowed a mouthful of water again. He wiped the sweat from his head and felt incredibly grateful. Fortunately, I didn't foolishly go over and die. Otherwise, I might have become a corpse lying there long ago, right? 
Is this rocks? He murmured to himself and looked at the figure sitting there. I just feel that figure, at this moment, is incredibly majestic in his eyes. Like a deity. Meanwhile, outside the tavern, in a remote corner. A tall man with blonde hair sat on a stone stool. On the stone table in front of him, there was a pile of strong liquor, and a person was pouring and drinking from here. Hmm. What is this momentum? Suddenly, his drinking behavior paused slightly. A little refreshing wine spilled on his curved beard, which was like a white crescent moon. Is it domineering? Gullalalala, who is that powerful bastard? Have you awakened such qualifications? He laughed heartily, and then continued without hesitation, pouring the fine wine into his mouth and drinking it in large gulps. 003 Monster Everyone's shock. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Until the last drop of wine fell into his chest, the empty bowl in his hand was casually thrown by the blonde man. Then, leaning on the big razor with his right hand, even while drinking, he never let go of it and slowly stood up. He is also well aware that on this island, no matter when, he cannot relax any vigilance. Always maintain the most vigilant state. Golalala, there are really more and more monsters on this island. Perhaps, here, a whole new era will be created, right? He laughed and stood up tall, with a terrifying sense of oppression. But as he finished laughing, he also let out a faint sigh, and his tall figure appeared somewhat lonely. Perhaps he could really achieve a career here, but the atmosphere on this island made him dislike it very much. It was also in line with his expectations and desires, but there was nothing he had hoped for here. Perhaps his desires and dreams are not what he can satisfy now. The blonde man couldn't help but shake his head, dispelling any distractions in his mind, and then decided to pick up the wine in front of him and drink it again. On this island, perhaps only fine wine can accompany him. And just as he was about to pour the wine, hmm. Suddenly, a red light flashed in his eyes, and his heart moved. He couldn't help but look towards the direction outside the island in the distance. Gullalalala, has another group of mice hiding their heads and tails arrived. At this time, Hive Island, the sea area outside of Hachinos. Slightly, several standard military warships began to gather on the periphery. On top of each warship, there is a white background with the flag of a blue seagull printed on it. And above the central warship, at the position of the deck, several figures stood tall. General Guanmo, ahead is Honeycomb Island and Hachinos. Do we still need to continue moving forward? A man standing next to him, dressed in a school-level officer's uniform, looked respectfully and asked the high-dot-ranking general standing at the bow of the ship, dressed in a righteous naval dress. Keep moving forward. General Guan Mao, who looked like a middle-dot-aged man in his forties and fifties with a deep black nose, lowered the telescope for observing the terrain from before his eyes and ordered with a solemn expression. According to the intelligence department and the intelligence detected by the CP organization, it is suspected that the Overlord Rocks is making a huge move on this island. He issued a call to the whole new world, and countless pirates flocked in. Their plan was definitely not small. As a navy, I cannot just watch the power of the pirates grow stronger and stronger. He said firmly with a resounding voice, keep the ship closer. We need more useful intelligence. But, Major General. The school-level officer's face was slightly hesitant, currently, there are many New World pirates gathering on the island of Hachinos, among which there are many masters who are proficient in seeing, hearing, and domineering. If we just lean over like this, will they find out? So what if it's discovered? General Guan Mao interrupted his words in a deep voice, We are the Navy. The resounding and powerful words spread throughout the entire fleet, and the unwavering determination in his eyes and calm expression all indicated that the Crown Rat General had already achieved enlightenment. Yes. Looking at the figure of General Guan Mao, the eyes of the school-level officers no longer hesitated and feared, but were replaced by determination. That's right, they are the Navy. 
No matter how dangerous and terrifying the enemy is in front of them, it is their duty to eliminate pirates, drive away evil, protect the people, and bring peace to the sea. Even if they were to suffer any kind of calamity for this, they would not hesitate. The school-level officer solemnly saluted General Guanxu, and then immediately issued instructions to continue advancing to various parts of the warship. For a moment, the flags of these naval vessels began to slowly drift in the wind over this sea area. Honeycomb Island, Hachinos. In a specially built dim sum house. MMM MMM MMM. The Navy has also come to join the fun, right? A woman of the same tall stature, but extremely hot and explosive, sat at the dining table, wiping away the sweet food residue from the corner of her mouth with one hand and laughing loudly. Sure enough, with such a big commotion on the pirate's side, if I were the Marshall Steel Bone Sky, I would probably not be able to sit still at all, would I? Ha ha ha, I didn't expect their action to be so rapid this time, she chuckled vaguely as she continuously threw the layers of small tower high desserts placed on the huge dining table in front of her into her mouth. So, what are you planning to do, Lingling? On the side, a short and chubby man dressed in chef's attire with thick lips and a bird-beaked nose kept cooking various desserts for the woman. Me. I don't care about these things. The woman known as Lingling smiled happily and said, Whoever caused this kind of thing, let whoever does it do it. Since Rox has gathered us all on this island, naturally, we need to come up with a corresponding explanation. If even a small group of invading navies cannot be solved, and even cannot be solved decisively, then his call this time will become a complete joke. I want to see what kind of tactics that guy, Lox, has. Ha ha ha. As he burst out laughing, the surrounding dessert houses also emitted waves of moving singing. Wait, wait dot. Sing for mom, cheer for mom dot. Tables, chairs, benches, and walls suddenly appeared eerily, with a pair of faces singing cheerful tunes. However, the chef dressed in men's clothing while cooking and lingling, who was eating heavily, both looked very normal. Are you waiting? That's true, the man in the chef's uniform thought for a moment and shook his head, even if Locke doesn't take action, there will probably be some hot-tempered guys who won't tolerate the Navy's provocation. There are more monsters on this island than we imagined. Just like the dominant aura just now. When Lingling Ling heard this, she ate a little, and her eyes under the light purple eye shadow slowly narrowed. Being able to possess such a domineering and imposing aura, such a man is definitely not an ordinary character. Click. She picked up a chocolate cookie and threw it into her mouth, chewing crumbs flying everywhere. I don't know what kind of peculiar race he belongs to. Even if it's not, if it's just a normal human, his bloodline must be very strong, right? I really want to collect his bloodline, well, ha ha ha. The coveted laughter, as if licking one's lips, echoed throughout this dessert room. At the same time, the object coveted by the fiery woman known as Lingling, Morik in the tavern, slowly opened her eyes. Zero zero for the fine wine of Binks. The guy who brought it to your door. You are listening at novel full dot audio. Is this, domineering color? Molek slowly exhaled a mouthful of turbid air, with a faint sense of pressure in his eyes. His entire body was also shrouded in a vague sense of oppression. However, with a momentary thought, it was easy for him to fully restrain this momentum. Inside the tavern, the attention was focused on the pirate criminals on Morak. At this moment, they also felt the pressure disappear and couldn't help but take a breath. However, their gaze remained uncertain and extremely fearful, looking towards the direction of Morak. Molek paid no attention to them at all, and after realizing the domineering aura and the powerful power brought by the entanglement of the domineering color to himself he continued to gaze at the three glowing clusters remaining on the flash sail shelf. Seeing and hearing colorful dominance, beginner, introduction. It can sharpen one's five senses, detect changes in the breath and emotions of surrounding organisms, and can also be used to predict and avoid danger. It can read the position and quantity of enemies outside of sight, 
as well as the actions that the opponent will take in the next moment. Second sale. 2 yuan, 90.9 .9 cents, 9 bellies is it one of the three dominant colors of sight and smell. Molek nodded lightly, this time the supernatural refresh was really good. Among the five flash sale goods, there were two things related to the three color dominance. Seeing and hearing color dominance is an auxiliary type of dominance with multiple functions. The ability to perceive attacks, predict the opponent's next actions, perceive the strength of creatures, perceive their emotions and thoughts, and perceive the position and quantity of objects in the field of vision are all basic abilities of seeing and hearing colors, and the scope and intensity vary from person to person. This is the role of a beginner's aura and aura. And the superior's knowledge and perception can achieve an excellent situation of predicting the future. As for the top dot level visuals, they are special abilities like, visuals killing, memory reading, mental resonance, and so on. Just like the dominant color that Morake just obtained, the junior dominant color will only unconsciously release pressure. The dominant aura of superiors is already able to be controlled according to their own will as their spiritual power improves. From the timing of use to the power, as well as the scope of impact, are all under control. And the top dot notch king color is a true champion with both mental, technical, and physical abilities, who can eliminate opponents through intimidation. By simply enhancing one's momentum, one can unleash their domineering aura in all directions, which can be said to be a domineering aura that is always in a state of activation. In this way, after mastering the techniques of Overlord Color, Top Dot Level, and Advanced Use of Overlord Color. Rap, coupled with the powerful aura of Seeing Color. Molek already has the capital to stand firm in this world of strong men and on the sea. He chose to flash kill without hesitation, while his gaze continued to look towards the two light clusters below. Communication Technique, Superior, Introduction You can spread your voice to all directions, or you can transmit it to someone alone, second price reduction. 4.99 billion yuan is it similar to loudspeaker broadcasting and techniques for transmitting sound into a secret. In some ways, it is also quite practical Molek focused his attention on the last cluster of light. Bink's Fine Wine, Introduction from the famous islands of the New World, the birthplace of the pirate song, and the abundant wine on the Binks Island. Second sale. 5 yuan, 90.9 .9 cents, 9 bellies is it a fine wine from Binks. Can you even flash kill this kind of thing? Molek smiled lightly and immediately killed these two things. Then, with a flip of his palm, a bottle of fine wine with a pale yellow liquid appeared in his hand. Boo! The cork of the wine opened, and the extremely clear liquid dripped out. At the same time, a strong aroma of wine began to spread inside the tavern. Gudong. Many drunken pirates rolled their throats, swallowed a mouthful of saliva, and then looked eagerly at the wine bottle held in Molek's hand. However, Molek didn't give them any more time to watch, just tilted his neck and poured all the mellow liquor into his mouth. At the same time, the sound of completing the flash sale was also ringing in his ear. Ding! Congratulations to the host for successfully killing Jian Wen Se Ba Chi, Jr., in seconds. Please check it. Ding! Congratulations to the host for successfully killing Transmission Technique, Superior. Please check it. Ding! Congratulations to the host for successfully killing Binks's fine wine. Please check it. Morik, who was pouring delicious wine into his mouth, only felt his five senses, and at this moment, he became incredibly clear. Various atmospheres and sounds can be clearly perceived. At the same time, he also felt the intense sounds that existed on this island. Sure enough, many experts have gathered on this island, some, sounds and sounds, have an unparalleled sense of existence, allowing people to perceive their extraordinary just by feeling them. And among them, the most intense is located in the center of the island, directly below the skull, like a palace room. My cheap brother in this lifetime, Locks. 
There is no doubt that the most powerful person on this island today is the elder brother of Morak, the powerful overlord, Rox. It's just that, it seems that the relationship between me and my older brother is not very good. In Morak's memory, although he and his own brother, Rox D. Jibek, were genuine brothers. But in the eyes of this elder brother who only has Wang Tu's dominance and strong ambition, family ties and so on are not important at all. He paid no attention to his younger brother, who had been ordinary since childhood and had not shown any potential. The relationship between two people cannot be described as intimate, at most it is just a stranger with a better relationship, and they are very indifferent to each other. That's right, if that guy Jibek was really a man who cares so much about family, on this ship, there wouldn't be a scene where the comrades on board were constantly fighting each other, killing each other, and treating it as a common occurrence, enjoying it tirelessly. In such a team, there is no partner or trust relationship at all, and it is no wonder that a man like Whitebeard, who is passionate about his family, has no intention of avenging locks after the God's Valley incident. It's really a heartless and indifferent man who won't let anyone linger on. Molek shook his head gently, then casually placed the dried bottle on the bar in front of him. Sooner or later, there will be a meeting with this indifferent locks. Before that, it's important to familiarize yourself with your own power. His eyes lifted slightly, and his gaze turned towards the sea outside the tavern, or rather, the island. Coincidentally, there are a group of fearless guys who come knocking at my door, allowing me to test what my current strength is like. 005 is such a domineering woman. Who the hell are you? You are listening at Novel Full Audio. In the perception of the aura of seeing and hearing colors transmitted back, in the outer waters of the island, it was a bit lively at this moment. Molek's lips gently curled up, and then, the invisible pressure once again spread out. At the same time, Hachinos, on the outskirts of the island of Hive Island. On the dim and dark sea level, several warships approaching towards this side, and the people on the deck could already vaguely see the outline of the island. General Guanmo, we will be approaching the island of Hachino soon. Please instruct. The school level officer was full of consciousness and seriousness, waiting for the next order from General Guan Mao. I got it, General Guan Mao and nodded lightly, and just before the official action, he had already reported the situation here to the Navy headquarters. The command conveyed back from the headquarters is to let them act according to the situation. The four words, act according to the situation, are also cleverly used. There is no clear indication whether it is just a simple search for intelligence or a substantial conflict or collision with pirates on the island. However, General Guan Mao knew that he was involved in the lives of many naval officers on the surrounding warships, and his next actions could not be so hasty or arbitrary. Let's first. Just as he was pondering, intending to issue the first command boom. Suddenly, the entire sea area was engulfed in strong winds, with countless surging waves sweeping through it. Under the stunned and bewildered gaze of countless navies, thunderbolts suddenly exploded in the sky. From this stormy and turbid shore, their destination in their eyes, on the island of Hachinos, a strong and unparalleled aura instantly tore open the sky and soared into the clouds. Is this? The contemplation and steadiness on General Guan Mao's face have long disappeared without a trace, replaced by an unparalleled sense of shock and shock. Overlord Color How could it be that there is such a strong dominance? Faced with such an astonishing aura and sense of oppression, General Guan's subconscious body wanted to retreat. But the next second, he suddenly realized that his body could no longer move. Under the pressure of this domineering and unparalleled aura, his body gave the most honest answer. That body and physique, which have been polished for many years through countless trials and tribulations, at this moment, it feels like a mudslide, instantly crumbling and crumbling. Not only him, but also the school-level officer beside him had a pale face and a trembling body. The other navy soldiers were even more unbearable, some of them trembling and powerless, lying on the ground like mud. Even worse, under this strong momentum, he tilted his head and fell to the ground, foaming at his mouth, unaware of life or death. 
such a domineering demeanor. Who the hell are you? Feeling the rapidly disintegrating power inside his body, as well as the unbearable plight of the surrounding naval soldiers, General Guan Mao raised his last breath in his heart and hoarsely roared out loud. Is it the overlord blocks? You noticed us and are going to take action against us, right? General Guan Mao gritted his teeth tightly, never realizing that he and his companions had not even made any movement. Just being close to this sea area, I am under such pressure is this the legendary overlord, the domineering and domineering color of rocks besides locks, General Crowned Mouse couldn't imagine who else on this island could possess such terrifying power. Moreover, according to the feedback from the intelligence, even Rox has not yet reached this level of dominance, has he? What, does it mean that he has become stronger again? At a time when General Guan Mao's heart was extremely solemn, is it Lox? That's true, but I'm not that so. Called hegemon. A light laugh mixed with a hint of mockery suddenly rang out in this sky. Although the tone of voice is very plain, it is incredibly clear and reaches everyone's ears. This voice. This is definitely not Locke's voice, said General Guan Mao's pupils suddenly narrowed Rocks is already in his prime, but this voice sounds very young and cannot possibly be Rocks himself. Young and self-proclaimed as Rocks, but not the hegemon at this moment, General Guan Mao's mind spun rapidly, and soon, in his memory, he found an intelligence piece that most of his naval colleagues had almost forgotten. Even their marshal, Steel Bone Kong, was just a casual mention and didn't pay much attention to any news. Only he, who has always been very rigorous and has a remarkable memory, recorded this news. The great pirate of the New World, the Overlord, is not alone. He also has a younger brother of close blood, named Is Lox D. Malek. General Guan Mao's voice was hoarse and extremely dry, revealing this name. In the intelligence records of the Navy, there is no sense of existence at all. Compared to his brother Gilbeck, who dominates the sea, he himself appears so ordinary and ordinary. Just like a normal ordinary resident, it will not leave any traces of its existence. But at this moment General Guan Mao swore that he had never been as deeply impressed by this name as he is now, and firmly engraved it in his mind. Oh! Is there anyone else in the navy who can know my name? Above the dome, there came a light and interesting sound. I thought I was never seen by you, the righteous envoys of the sea. 006 Navy Retreat Malek, this name. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Sure enough, it's him. Upon hearing the most obvious teasing tone, General Guan Mao bit his lips tightly, his heart sinking continuously. At this moment, in his heart, he had already cursed the Navy's intelligence department and CP organization dozens of times. What is just an ordinary person, there is no need to care, there is no need to pay attention to I can go to your XX. Can you tell me that he is just an ordinary person with this level of dominance? Do ordinary people in your family have this kind of aura? What a joke! It is obvious that this man, who also bears the title of rocks, has an incredibly terrifying aura and a super powerful and domineering aura. This is also a monster that cannot be ignored. At this moment, in the brightly lit tavern on the island of Hachinos, the entire tavern was already silent. Not everyone present was startled by Morik's domineering move, but was shocked. Well, the literal meaning. I only saw inside the tavern, everyone lying straight on the ground with their eyes wide open. As early as the moment when Morik released his domineering aura, the many pirate assailants and guests in this tavern were the first to feel this pressure. Then, they all played GG and stopped eating directly. It seems that the firepower displayed this time is a bit too strong. Molek gently played with the small wine glass in his hand, not even glancing at the fallen pirate villains around him. But next time, this situation won't happen again. He casually rotated the small wine glass in his hand, and the faint voice continued to spread towards the outside sea under the influence of the transmission technique. At this moment, I came here specifically. 
Should I praise your so dot called resolute determination to defend justice, or should I mock your ignorant foolishness? At the same time as speaking, the domineering and unparalleled aura on Morek's body also spread throughout the Nine Heavens Dome, and the extremely powerful and domineering aura made countless people admire him. Next, there will be a wave that is about to change the entire history and sweep across the sea, and it will soon usher in a new era that will attract the world's attention and shock. The faint voice, accompanied by the cold wind, spread to the sky above this sea area, and also spread throughout the entire island of Hachinos. It's a bit confusing to come and disturb during this season, isn't it? All the pirates on this beehive pirate island have heard Morak, this is what the navy and the world are saying. No one can stop the tide sweeping the world. Wow! The surging waves hit the shore, the strong wind howled, but still couldn't stop it. At that moment, the powerful momentum. Amidst the plain language, there is also an irresistible aura. That belongs to the majesty of the king, shaking the sea and sky, unstoppable. This is no longer a place where your navy can set foot. The final retreat was Morak, the final declaration for this group of navy. General Guan Mao naturally knew this, so he could only bite his lips tightly and forcefully hold back those two words from his throat. Retreat. In the tone, there is a deep sense of powerlessness, which forms a very sharp contrast with Morek's words. And this is a true portrayal of this realistic and cruel world. Only truly strong individuals can have the right to speak on this vast sea. The navy came very resolutely and retreated very awkwardly. At least, the seagull flag that rustled in the sea breeze also hung down, powerless along with the disheartened sailors, leaving this place that they would never forget and engraved in their minds. And their arrival and departure, as well as the scenes of development in between, also fell in the eyes of all the pirates who were paying attention to this situation on the honeycomb island of Hachinos. Did you just leave like this? Navy, it's the navy, they retreat faster than anyone else. Ha ha ha, with such a grand momentum, didn't you just leave with your tail between your legs and a gloomy appearance? That's just it. On the island, as the navy withdrew, there were also gradually mocking and mocking sounds. Most of them were pirates who couldn't stand the navy and were their arch rivals, mocking each other to their heart's content. Under such a tone, a fact is also presented to everyone, making it impossible for them to ignore. After the hustle and bustle, or before the end, someone had already begun to cast their gaze and gaze towards the source of this event. Is this the dominant color of the rock's family? A pirate with a solemn expression said such things. Why do I feel that such a domineering aura and pressure make me feel even more stressed than when I saw Gilbeck before? It's really a super terrifying domineering color. If it were my position in that navy, maybe my performance would be even worse. Sure enough, the Rock's family are all real monsters. Even an unknown younger brother on the open sea has such terrifying strength. Before, there was no display of any kind, and now, after that guy, Rocks. Gilbeck, gathered us all here, they also began to show their ambitions and no longer hide the strength of their brothers. It's really a monster, Lox D. Malek. I've taken note of this name. Numerous noisy words and movements echoed in every corner of this island. Is 007 rocks again? Just this time. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Originally, the mention of the name Malek was completely indifferent or indifferent, at best for the sake of the face of the people who gave a little face to Lox D. Jibek. At this moment, their eyes were filled with the most obvious fear and solemnity. This group of wild and unruly criminals on the sea have undergone a 180-degree transformation in their attitude towards Morak. If we can change the attitude of these villains who don't pay much attention to anyone, then the only way is to show even stronger and more daring strength and fists than them. Obviously, Morak's domineering and unparalleled dominance won their respect. Let everyone face up to and take seriously this unknown member of the Rock's family, another rising powerhouse. The most intuitive reaction is that they no longer directly refer to rocks. 
In the past, when referring to rocks, everyone instinctively thought it was rocks d. Jibek. But now, the rocks family has added such a powerful figure, and they naturally distinguish between the two. Gilbeck, Morek. Being able to distinguish them by their real names is the greatest recognition given by this group of pirates. Bang. On the lonely stone table, the wine bottle was heavily smashed onto the table. Gullalalala, is it rocks again? But this time, is it my younger brother? The heroic laughter echoed throughout the entire wilderness. I really didn't expect that not only my older brother is so powerful, but also my younger brother is so strong. Asking about the new era. Although there was no movement before, the result was revealed at this moment. Did you perceive this surging tide and no longer have any reservations, officially planning to participate in the disputes in this ocean? As soon as he thought of this, the tall, golden-haired man with a crescent-shaped beard felt his blood boil. At the same time, the large razor on the right hand couldn't help but climb down again, smashing a deep hole into the ground. This sea is indeed a place where dragons and tigers are hidden, and there are all kinds of monsters hidden away. He sighed and then thought of something, with a faint hint of envy in his eyes. Brother, there's also a younger brother. He sighed deeply, feeling that this was the kind of relationship he longed for the most when he was alone. Tons, tons, tons. Immediately, he picked up the bottle again and poured it into his own mouth, tons and tons. He is also looking forward to the upcoming new era. MMM MMM MMM. In the dessert room, the seeping laughter also began to spread. So it's rocks, I really want to remember. I've seen that little ghost before, his that pink tongue licked all the dessert cream on the edge of the fiery red lips into its mouth. The beautiful woman known as Lingling Ling recalled a little. I remember he's not very old, quite young, and he looks pretty good. But his own performance is very ordinary, and if it weren't for his name as Rocks, I might not really remember the existence of such a person. But well, well, ha ha ha. Lingling Ling laughed and put a piece of butter, cheese, brown sugar, sakuma into her mouth again the sound of chewing echoed in this empty dessert room. After all, it still shows extraordinary performance. Sure enough, since he carries the title of rocks, how could he just be an ordinary waste? However, I didn't expect to have such a powerful and domineering aura hidden so deeply that even I was deceived. She smashed her mouth and narrowed her eyes, with a look of fear in her eyes. Even if I were to compete with this level of dominance, it would be difficult for me to win it, right? For a moment, the entire dessert room fell silent again. Except for the blonde curled hook and white beard, as well as the fiery figure of Lingling, the topic and gaze of the entire island are all focused on Morak. The objects of discussion everywhere are all focused on him, everything about him. At this moment, the name of Molek is well dot known and well dot known throughout the entire honeycomb island of Hachinos. But amidst the hustle and bustle outside, in the tavern, the target being discussed by everyone, Morak, looked calmly at the phone worm in his hand. Just now, the phone worm in his arms rang. There is only one person in the world who can know his phone number and call him. After Morik answered, only three simple words came from the other end of the phone. Come find me. Then, with a snap, he hung up the phone. The voice was calm, but Morik could hear the deep pride hidden beneath it. Can't even you hold back anymore. Molek gently rubbed the phone worm in his hand, his eyes piercing through the window and penetrating the tower, looking towards the huge skull. My dear brother, as his elder brother by blood, Lox D. Jibek naturally had a clear understanding of what had just happened. So naturally, he cannot be treated as completely invisible. I should have met before. Molek stood up gently, smoothing the creases at the hem of his clothes. With a plain complexion, he took big strides forward. Passing through the fallen pirate giants, dividing the central road built on both sides, stepping step by step, as if stepping on the bones of the loser squeak. Pushing the door, I walked towards the broader world the new book set sail, 
seeking monthly tickets, fresh flowers, recommended tickets, and asking all the big shots to vote. 008 Meat Locks D. Jibek. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Hive Island, above Hachinos, has a huge skull head. I don't know when this skull has been standing here ever since. This is the biggest symbol of the entire island, and therefore, the pirates living under this skull are also recognized as the strongest on the entire island. Only he can hold such a position. And on this island, there is only one man who can live here and subdue all the pirate villains. Overlord, Lox D. Jibek. Alone, without any companions or subordinates, accompanying on either side. Even Morik, who is his younger brother, cannot enter here without his permission to disturb him. Therefore, on weekdays, Morek also rarely sees his older brother. But tonight, he came to find his brother again, and the two rocks finally met again. When Morik walked through the dark passage and arrived at the room without any door covering it. What caught the eye was a tall and well dot proportioned figure. Not a little extra fat, and not a single muscle cut. It's like the most perfect and suitable body for combat, standing there. This was Morik's first intuitive feeling, followed by his wild and unrestrained black long hair that hung down recklessly. It complements the extremely rebellious aura of the person, making it unforgettable at a glance. Even if he just turned his back to himself, Morik could clearly feel the full arrogance on this man's body. Then, what caught Morik's eye and once again drew his attention away was the wall facing Lox D. Jibek at this moment. More precisely, it is a map of the sea hanging on the wall. Is this a chart of the new world? Molek was also looking up and down at such a picture, and at this moment, you're here. The voice of plain and extreme words rang out in this room. I'm here a sentence suddenly popped up in Morik's mind. Is this a conversation like, you still came after all, I still came after all, you shouldn't have come, but I have already come. Shaking his head in his heart, he cleared away the various thoughts in his mind, and then nodded softly without speaking. Such a powerful and domineering aura, but even I have seen it for the first time. Without any preparation or greetings, it was so straightforward and straightforward. Lox D. Jibek placed his chest hugging hands behind his back, his tone very calm. Even if I were to release now, I wouldn't be able to do it, like you are. I've never used anything I've seen before, brother, brother, ah. His words suddenly intensified above the words, younger brother, and then the atmosphere in the entire room suddenly changed. I'm not sure if you were hiding your true strength before, or if you had some unimaginable experiences recently. The tone of voice gradually increased, and at the same time, the strong pressure was slowly released from that broad back. But I want to know what kind of thoughts you have now, my dearest brother, brother. Boom. As the words fell, the powerful momentum erupted instantly, and the tables, chairs, and benches in the entire room were crushed into pieces under the strong pressure. The unparalleled domineering aura, shimmering with black and red lightning arcs, wreaked havoc in this room, and then surged towards the direction where Morik was, overwhelming the sky. Along the way, Lox D. Jibek has witnessed too many tragedies on this vast sea. There are also many scenes of betrayal and betrayal, sibling rivalry, and self-destruction. Therefore, all he can trust is the strength of his own fist and eternal benefits. He found the hierarchical power possessed by Morek quite interesting. But I am more concerned about what attitude Morek will have after gaining this power. He has seen too many, the faces of those ugly guys who were lucky enough to taste the powerful demonic fruits, gain powerful abilities, and become stronger in one fell swoop. Without a doubt, the domineering aura displayed by Morek has surpassed that of those ugly guys, and even in terms of domineering aura, he is not weaker than him. Lox D. Jibek, he wants to see what attitude Morek has now. I was previously unknown, but at the moment when I summoned the villains from the sea to gather here, I began to show my sharpness. Relying solely on my dominance, I intimidated the navy and scared them back. Some thoughts emerged in his mind, 
and the momentum emanating from Locke's D. Jibek's body became increasingly intense. I don't want to continue lurking and hibernating, but instead plan to stand out, showcase my abilities, and gain fame. So, do you want to challenge my position or even surpass me? For his younger brother, who had never cared about before and was only slightly stronger than a stranger, Rox felt that if he really had such thoughts. So I don't mind either, let the other person feel the cruelty of this sea and why he is called the Hegemon. He has never cared about anyone's challenges, and his broad-mindedness and ambitious ambition are not narrow-minded enough to accommodate others. Is it not normal for him, as the older brother, to give him a slight tap and make him behave more honestly and calmly when his younger brother has other ideas and jumps exceptionally vigorously? The new book set sail, seeking monthly tickets, fresh flowers, recommended tickets, and asking all the big shots to vote. 009 Tearing Sky The Dominant Power of the Two Brothers You are listening at NovelFull.audio Moreover, with the power that my younger brother currently possesses, if I could assist him well by his side. That will become oneself, the best assistance. At that time, the name of Lox will resound throughout the entire ocean. To achieve this step, one must first demonstrate one's strength and showcase one's strongest posture in front of this younger brother. Let him be completely convinced. And with Lox's pride, it is necessary to prove in all aspects that he is not weaker than anyone else. Even in the other person's area of expertise. That is to say, including the domineering and domineering demeanor exhibited by this younger brother before, which moved everyone. Boom! The domineering and domineering aura that belonged exclusively to Locke's D. Jibek was rampant in this room. And as he felt the pressure on his face, Morak also raised his eyebrows lightly. Is it domineering? He murmured to himself in his heart, but a smile slowly formed at the corner of his mouth. Then let me take a good look. Now, who is the more powerful between us? In the next second, that domineering unparalleled momentum will once again soar into the sky, breaking through the sky and stepping into the sea of clouds. Boom! The boundless black and red arc shone and danced, colliding fiercely with the domineering energy released by Nalox D. Jibek. The tremendous force caused by that completely crushed the walls around this room into powder. The ceiling cannot withstand such pressure, it just burst open. Both of them are top-notch domineering individuals, and the aura and pressure they exude are enough to cause astonishing damage to the surroundings. Not to mention, the terrifying power that erupts after the collision is enough to affect the environment. What's wrong? Under the skull, the astonishing and domineering confrontation erupted, which shocked countless pirates on the island who were still discussing the naval incident just now. What's going on here? The heat and impact brought about by the naval incident have not yet subsided, why has this level of dominance erupted again? And, it's not just the domineering aura released by a person. At the lonely stone table, the golden-haired man with curved hooks and crescent beards put down the wine bottle in his hand. Is that guy Gilbeck also unable to resist taking action? In the dessert room, the hot woman Lingling also stopped eating. The original smiles on both of their faces had disappeared, and then they all lifted their heads together and looked up into the sky. Not only the two of them, but also some strong pirates immediately noticed something and suddenly looked up. Subsequently, their pupils suddenly contracted. You guys, look. The guy with a loud voice howled out at the first moment. The person next to them looked over and saw this guy pointing at the sky, incredulously saying. Sky, look at the sky. The sky. What's going on? Countless pirates instinctively raised their heads, and then, what caught their eyes was a heart-shaking and unforgettable scene engraved in their minds. I saw the pitch-black sky and night sky above their heads, and at this moment, I don't know when, a large number of dark clouds had already rolled up. And in the center of the clouds, under endless rolling, along with the sky, they were divided into two distinct streams. Under the distinct marks, in the center of the night sky, it seems like a deep crack has been cut. 
The wind and clouds are changing, and the heavens and earth are constantly changing, making it impossible for people to ponder. Everything is so shocking and unpredictable. Under the collision of the extremely powerful and domineering colors, even the sky could not be sustained, and a huge crack was torn open. Through the division of the sky, it reveals the immense power of the two colliding individuals below. Through the changes in heaven and earth, it has been proven to everyone that on those two islands, monsters carrying the same name have what kind of power? Is this the strongest domineering color? Is this rocks? Countless people, their mouths either tense or wide open, stared blankly at the scene in the sky, muttering these words in a daze. The commotion that stirred up, but even they would be intimidated. Facing such a force, deep down, there are waves of powerlessness surging up. Faced with such strong individuals, they are truly incapable of raising any desire to fight against them. In addition to some pirates and ruthless characters who still have a strong willpower and are equally strong, they also have a murmur in their hearts. Rock's guys are just a bunch of monsters. Sure enough, with such terrifying strength, both brothers are fierce characters, whether it's my brother or my younger brother, they are all so terrifying. At the thought of this, they couldn't help but grin. Originally, having a rock's d jibek was enough to make them feel intimidated. Now, there is another monster brother it has to be said that some unnecessary thoughts, as well as a hint of imagination and thoughts that rise up in the heart, should also be restrained and as these two dominant colors rise up into the sky and pierce through the sky that huge skull, the location where all this originated. Such dominance. The new book set sail, seeking monthly tickets, fresh flowers, and recommended tickets. We sincerely request that all the big shots contribute some. 010, you become so amazing too, Morak. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Such dominance. Locke still stood there, unable to turn his face and turn his back to Morak. But in the invisible line of sight of Morak, a wild smile also appeared on his face. Ha ha ha, it's really great. Feeling such dominance, compared to himself, he was not at all inferior, and even had a faint sense of superiority over himself. Locke's D. Jibek also felt sincere joy. You've become so amazing too, Morak. He spoke for the first time and called out the name of Molek. Meanwhile, in the latter's impression, this was also the first time the other party had used their real name to address themselves in this way. So, now I have gained your recognition, haven't I? Morak silently pondered in his heart, and then he felt the dominant aura in front of him, slowly fading away. The state that can only be achieved by a strong person standing at the pinnacle of this sea is to be able to fold and release freely. Although I'm not sure what changes have happened to you, and what thoughts do you have now? Locke's D. Jibek's figure finally slowly turned around, facing Morak. But after the battle just now, I couldn't help but believe a little. Holding his chest in both hands, a pair of incredibly rebellious eyes, like the stars in the sky, filled with incredibly bright radiance, caught the eye of Morak. That's it, you and I work together, the two of us working together. On that domineering and sharp-edged face, a smile of the most confident and arrogant in the world appeared. This sea, this world, no one can stop us. Wow. Lox D. Jibek, this demon-like figure of a hegemon, brandished his strength and raised his hands high towards Molek, come with me and create a brand new era. Malek. Unveiled strong ambition, fervent expectations, all are the best wild expectations of Rox D. Jibek for this world, and also his best inquiries for the new era to come. Are we with you? But Morak, on the other hand, looked at the hands that Lox had extended, as well as the meaning they represented, and only smiled lightly. I refuse, hmm. Lox D. Jibek, for the first time, a stunned application appeared in his calm and composed eyes. It's already so late. Stepping out of the house of the skeleton giant, Morak looked up and glanced at the stars in the sky, as well as the clouds scattered by their dominance, revealing the bright and flawless moonlight. 
Tonight's moonlight is bright enough, looking at this rare and refreshing scenery, I also sighed with a light smile. Previously inside the house, he directly declined the invitation from Lox D. Jibek. The reason is simple, there are two. The most important point is that he is well aware that Rox D. Jibek's ideas and actions are simply not suitable for him. Merely his philosophy of not treating crew members as companions, but as tools and a link of interest, Morik does not agree. This kind of team interaction mode can certainly gather powerful forces, but it will also lay the foundation for future destruction. Different paths lead to different strategies. Morik's philosophy is different from his, and he is also somewhat skeptical. With Loxa's personality, he mostly sees himself as a part of being a tool. In the eyes of this ambitious owl who had almost no brotherly feelings and extremely weak family ties, he was absolutely capable of doing such a thing. Morik is not foolish enough to take his own back and hand it over to someone he doesn't trust. As for the second point, Rox will never succeed in the end. The era of Joey Boy has not yet arrived, and even Roger could not wait until that time. He could only use himself as a guide to start the wave of the Age of Discovery. The team interaction model like Locks, coupled with the presence of Aunt E, the world government's easy enough to wipe out the islands it is destined to be impossible to join hands with someone who is destined to lead a dark path. However, if you're willing to pursue a career, I can be of some help. Morek did not completely refuse completely, at least until the fall of the Rocks Pirates, this was at least the strongest pirate group in the world, wasn't it? Having already shouldered the title of Lox, as Lox's younger brother and also known as D, Morek has basically no other way to go besides becoming a pirate. On this world's strongest pirate group, one can also see a lot of things and gain a lot from it and Lox D, Jibek was taken aback by Morek's refusal, but upon hearing his words afterwards, a clear smile appeared on his face. I'm sorry, I can't wipe my face off, so I'm using this kind of excuse. Arrogant like Lox D. Jibek, he never thought that Morik made such a choice because he believed he would fail. In his opinion, this is just a young person's arrogant and coquettish cover-up statement. He, who had never considered his own failure, immediately became even more ambitious after the statement of a dominant super-expert like Morik. He was full of confidence in his future career. Then, he began to continue studying the map of the New World and the following pirate group patterns. Upon seeing his appearance, Molek stopped talking and turned around to leave. The communication and interaction between the two brothers came to an end, which was very ordinary. The new book set sail, seeking monthly tickets, fresh flowers, and recommended tickets. We sincerely request that all the big shots contribute some. 